Alright guys, we have yet another patch for 318. This is obviously the B patch. So it's strongly recommended the players delete their user folder and and obviously the shadow, shadow folder as well. Uh, database reset, yes. Long term persistence enabled. Pledge copy is disabled. Starting UEC is not available. I don't know why it says NA. But yeah, no idea. Current build is under NDA. Uh, please monitor ETF testing chat. Right, so testing focus. Salvage, hull scraping, platform, assault on Orison, security, po security post cryo, courier mission, delivery missions, update, sandbox prison activities, sand caves, Daymar crash sites, Stanton racetrack, Grey Cat PTV racetrack, and the new rivers. So the known issues are cargo selling of commodities is not in a complete state for testing yet. So many locations around the Staten will not be able to detect the ships on terminals, detect the ships on the terminals, on terminals, whatever, uh, when buying or selling at this time. So it seems like they're still wiring in PES. Uh, inventory, equipment, equipment items are lost from character after a 30K. That sucks. Character customizer stuck on saving character on the front end menu after the first time joining the PU. Invisible space, uh, invisible ship present in a spaceport in the IAE halls when entering the server for the first time. Pez Cortec. Characters not properly stowed after logout. Uh, multi vehicle, VMA vehicles, ship components, UI. Unable to customize any ship within the vehicle loadout manager. I wonder if that's because they're working on the uh, resource manager. Normally, when things break, it's because they're working on something in the background that's going to affect it in like six to twelve months. And we know resource manager is coming at the mid next year, so maybe. ASAP terminal hangs on. Please wait while your vehicle being delivered. I should say that is completely speculation, guys. I'm just guessing here. Uh, I haven't heard anything else wise. I, I know it is due for mid next year, but the reason why the VMA is not working is that's a guess. Uh, locations, Hurston, Lawville, Commodity, Kiosk may become blurry eligible when in use. Load locations. Uh, more than one player can load into a hab bed at the same time. Transit, elevators and trams are jittery uh, due to during transit of player character. I think that's just like Pez. Yeah. Uh, derelict. Uh, they just obviously need to like find that out and sort of figure out why that's happening and then do some optimization. Derelict. Missing salvage wrecks. Uh, UI vehicle HUD is, a, is possible for the vehicle HUD to vanish for the player during the fight and combat. Staten interactions terminals are not responsive and some are not resetting. Performance, third person camera, massive stutter when using external view, F4 view for the first time. Uh, uh, which sucks because we want to do a machine of us soon. Uh, vulture pitches down in that mode when unlocking or when locking pitch yaw. The Corsair does not respond to either expand configuration or retract configuration. Orison, mission, mission content. Uh, a hostile AI is stuck inside a wall at HMRA and one hostile appears to be missing at BWD-G. Inventory loot boxes. Loot boxes will disappear on approach after opening and multiple locations uh, med medical players unable to heal injuries in med bed. So the feature updates, uh, they gave the Vulture a polish pass. The Gen 12 also got some rendering performance pass. Bug fixing. Uh, fixed an issue causing the client crash to recover. Uh, fixed an issue causing the client recovery not to function as intended. Fixed an issue causing reputation to not be gained when completing missions. Visor fog effects should no longer be much more than it uh, should no longer be much more intense with Gen 12 turned on then completely blurry vision once the player has wiped the visor. What? Visor fog effects should no longer be much more intense with Gen 12 turned on. Whatever. 
Uh, fix an issue when causing interaction prompts to appear from far too much appear from much too far when interacting with lots of various FPS items. So that was just, it was like reacting way too far away. Uh, the UI elements of the Vulture's lower salvage UI should no longer be much smaller than intended. Fix an issue causing some Crusader AI to not spawn at security post Crayer. Fix an issue causing players to not able to control their character after dying. Force closing the client and then reloading back into the PU. Daymar crash site should no longer be missing any assets and textures. Players should no longer be spawned in without a body when loading into the PU from a client crash. Ejecting inside a hangar should no longer leave the shipwreck on the pad with collision issues. And replacement textures and shadows should no longer be seen in sand caves. They fixed eight client crashes, two server crashes, and fixed multiple GPU crashes. So, generally not a bad patch. Obviously, there's still some major stuff that needs to be fixed in here. But, that said, considering it's PEZ, considering it's core replacement for the, the IP, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, now, obviously, like I say, they've still got plenty of time. Obviously, this is still Ivacardi. This is only A, a B, sorry, B patch. Normally, Ivacardi will go up to something like G. Normally is the average. So we've got C, D, E, F, G. We've still got five more patches, yeah, roughly, before it starts sort of like, yeah, before they start going to like wider PTU. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Apart from that, I'm really looking forward to, to jumping into the uh, to the Evercardi, uh, not Evercardi, jumping into the uh, into the uh, concierge and um, subscribers version. Um, so obviously, when it goes to Wave One, I will be playing it. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, I do know the Pisces was released today. We have covered it extensively on the channel. Um, I might go and make a video actually now, just go and show it and um, basically show it off and give you my thoughts about whether you should buy it or not. Uh, that'll probably go up later today. Um, but apart from that, guys, yeah, like I said, it was pretty much what we expected and what we what the leaks confirmed. So I didn't really rush out to make the video, um, but I might do it. go and do it right now and it'll go up after this vid. Have a great night. Enjoy yourself, guys. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below regarding this patch and I'll see you in the universe.